Well, today I'm here in my uh, back garden. Got the trash can there, we've got to throw it all out. Um, this is my garden and I want to show you how much gardening and how much plants and my gardening, the love of gardening and growing things and planting things has such a big impact on protection purposes, my spiritual personal growth. Um, the video today that I'm going to do talks about the Pirul tree. This is quite a high Pirul tree that's growing now. Very rapid growth. Um, it was tiny when it came, and I mean really tiny. From where the white piece of rope is that's tied around the body of the tree, that's the height it was, and now we've gone a lot higher in length. It basically keeps growing more leaves, and you can see here, it's just rapid growth on the end. It's not going to stop growing. It needs water, but it's very much um, a type of tree that is sustainable in the sun. It can survive it. Um, this, however, was damaged from the hurricane. This branch, I've got to um, break it off, cut it off in a healthy manner. Really, to be honest, we should save some of the leaves and branches. It gives off this very peppery smell, the Pirol. Um, if anything, to be honest, any dead leaves uh, could be used in dry uh, herbs for Belinda's work. So I could catch all of the dead leaves that are hanging right now. But it is a very beautiful tree. At some point, it's going to grow peppercorns or these pepper seeds. And they're going to drop. We could be grinding those into a pestle and mortar to work certain magic that we um, could be doing. Powders, incense, um, pepper could be used for dark workings for uh, powder and incense. And then again, it could be used to ward off spirit. I would use pepper. My grass seems to be pretty green at, at late. Um, I've been watering it on, a, on, a, on many occasions, but to be honest, since the hurricane, we're looking at a lot of water coming down and doing its job, so that's a good thing. Here's my, uh, by the shed here, here's my peach tree. So the peach tree has got a lot of growth, may need to be clipped a little bit back, but not yet, no peaches as of yet. It get, needs that water to nearly every two to three days. We don't want to overwater things. But seeing as the hurricane did do quite a lot of uh, damage, we're having to sustain certain things. I know that I want to talk more about that peerall tree, what it does, basically. And this plant is Arlo. And it basically... Um, you're going to snap off the end of the aloe when you get this gooey, liquidy type of um, substance inside. What do we do with aloe? Well, I would personally would take the aloe and clean a wound with it. Um, it cleans like an antiseptic, really. Sucks out the dirt that we've got. Um, this is a, a palm tree that's dead, but really it isn't dead. I don't give up um, instantly on certain plants. We water them, make a trench, and it takes time for it to get used to the soil and the earth. So the olo is perfect. We could be putting it into alcohol and alcohol rub and making our hand sanitizer. It really is perfect for that. And we know that we can buy Equate Olo from the store, but we call it down for sunburn purposes. To It's a remedy, something to cool the skin. This is my uh, orange tree. So plenty of oranges now becoming ripe. Well, not yet, but close. And 
we have our grapefruit tree so they're not ripe yet quite a few grow in there my garden is full of Buddha it's full of um, oh, there's a goddess mermaid over there I might just zoom in you can see there next to the Buddha um, so there's a range of different things I was very keen on making sure that Belinda's mom's uh, plant that I don't know what this plant is I'm learning as I go along would grow everywhere so this was a small piece it started off with a tiny piece and look at it now with another goddess statue next to it so back to the pyrrhul I personally think it could be dried and ground into a jar it can it gives off this very peppery scent even off the dry leaf we lose the scent a little bit when it's dead but we have a lot of that smell when the tree is actually you know in full growth instead of dead but it does a lot I personally want you to look up Pirol go online and talk about there's a lot of people that talk about it um, they very much um, don't know certain people what it is and where it comes from um, a lot of people said it's from Mexi Mexico um, see I've had to put a piece of string pulling it up because it's the hurricane actually pulled it and slapped it over to the other side and it was pulling it out of the roots I had to do a little bit of nursing of it over here a lot more growth a lot more growth I could also snap the leaf branches off and use it as a sweeping type of um, method for cleansing with the smoke that would also work as well a perfect idea for cleansing instead of using a feather so that's the pure all any questions you want to uh, you know ask about it well does it actually sustain in the sun without water for a short period of time but we need to add more we need to do what we usually do with all the other plants really um, sustain it take care of it nurture it water it and it should be fine um, but I'm proud of how tall it's got and it's going to continue on further um, I don't know how tall it is probably about 12 feet high right now the over there next door neighbor he hasn't got one single olive on there yet but that is an olive tree so that's pretty tall it probably the p rule probably will overtake the olive tree so there's quite a lot really going on in this garden and underneath my orange tree I have a few plants here there's a pot there that could do with something beautiful red colors coming from these leaves you know I think that's a tomato plant here let's have a look yeah that is it's a tomato plant my another olo for protection you can see palm tree there so I've been planting in all areas really of the garden um, just to protect the four corners of the home um, and that's very important I'm going to go there's our eyes chest another part of that tree that I saw at the back of the garden so that's spread I don't know what this is but it smells very much like soap so it could be used as a protection purpose but it grew pretty high more beautiful purple coming through Buddha another Buddha peaceful a cat we know very much whose that is it's Belinda's because she likes cats another mini alo in the middle that is Belinda's mum so I saved it and look at it now money tree this is our money tree it's grew really well look how much it it from what we had it's it was tiny these flowers a little piece of uh, Belinda's mum's plant grew through with eyebright I believe I think it's eyebright 
the damage from the hurricane but we've, we've just put that in a pile and we're going to get rid of it it's just a tall tree that's just da been damaged from next door but we're working on it so I'm going to go around here from where Belinda calls her ancestor part there isn't really much growing other than we've got rosemary a lot of rosemary growing here I want to move the rosemary out of here and put it at the front we have another rosemary I want to save that you can see there it's right there and a load we have a lot of oregano a lot of it it's beautiful it it can be used for it smells like a perfect ingredient for to chop into uh, menudo which is a, a Spanish dish it smells just like that beautiful growth going uh, uh, you know branches and trees going over the fencing I'm gonna open up the fence in a moment this however is dead it was basil there's nothing I can do about it now but it may grow back it may it may another tree that I grew but that say it was saved that's next door's garden it, a beautiful array of different things there and I've got some growth here growing beautiful things that we saved and I put a nice hanging decor there and some butterflies I think this is a grape so that's going all the way across the grape or could it be um, holly giant holly I'm not sure so let's go out to the front area I'm opening the gate so just bear with me and if you're impatient look around I'm open I'm at now at the front that's next door's garden beautiful I did actually want to just uh, share with you because it obviously with a tribute to Hecate we have a pomegranate tree and we never knew it was there but it's growing so well that we had one growing on the end of it uh, that you can see one that dropped but it's rotten now pomegranate growing on the end so that's perfect another aloe I already said for the medicinal purposes my pirola and aloe is perfect for um, working in the craft drying our rosemary drying our oregano uh, drying our basil so I'm coming round this piece there that was a beautiful purple leaf tree but I don't know what it was called uh, and we had it just the hurricane just got made it worse by pulling it out it was so powerful this is a blackberry tree really tall it's when it's ripe but there's plenty of blackberries there I don't know what this is called spider plant from what this is it is growing leaves back so you can see that but this is what it should look like so the growth of that beautiful got our famous Biden sign a lot of people don't like it but tough another piece the yeah, Belinda's mom's growth of uh, of plants that are hers I, I saved them and they turned out that they were growing on the edge of the path here so we got some there healthy grass another plant there look how beautiful the day is this is what I wake up to in the morning to go outside our Siamese she's uh, looking for water and food another cat there beautiful Siamese she is it's a family cat she uh, likes to be outside more of Belinda's mom's plant another olo this I saved look how beautiful the colors are on these flowers another palm tree and this I recently bought Belinda it's a star 
but no, it's a sun um, outside decor. Look, beautiful. It's wind time. I just realised I didn't uh, close the car, so I kind of uh, could be in trouble there. Now I'm about to close it. <laughs> so my garden, I'm proud of it. My grass, the growth of uh, plants. We got a piece of this, a piece of this in the pot came off a piece of that. So I saved it and put it into a pot here and I'm sure it will be saved. This is beautiful blackberry tree look high up. It will survive, I hope. I'm coming over. The aloe, can you see that I've put aloe outside? I see it as a very good protection. I'm coming right over to the other side of the garden. Another beautiful tree growing. More aloe, more of Belinda's mum's plant that just happened to grow everywhere. More aloe. And I might save this plant and bring it, put it over. There's a, another part of this that snapped off, but I can save that. Um, it's amazing what happens when you plant things, when it takes to the soil and the ground, it very much will survive if you take care of it. Another look at these beautiful purple pink flowers. So, and then this is a fig tree. Wasn't growing at one point, look at it now. And more of Belinda's mum's plant that's grew this side of the house. And a massive rosemary tree. Another aloe. Just know that the aloe can do so much. It can clean wounds. It could be added to as a gel for antibacterial hand wipes so there's a lot so I'm gonna leave it there really I'm gonna see if I can uh, change the camera and you can see me just be with nature be with the self be with the world and what it's doing you can hear the birds you can hear the, everything that's going on the bees everything that's going goodbye around you it's peace when you wake up. Be at peace. Recognise the beauty of the world and what we have around us. So many thanks and I hope you enjoyed this video.